Hi everyone, so it's time for an August favourites video and as crazy as it sounds, I've actually been waiting for the sun to go down so I could film this video and it's finally set so we can get started and to be quite honest with you, there really hasn't been that much this month I did keep a list and I was very very organised so there are a few things that I thought I should show you and the first thing is a hair thing and this is amazing it will be the only conditioner I use for a long long time it's left my hair feeling so soft so nourished really shiny plus it smells amazing and it is the Dove Nourishing Oil Care Express Treatment Conditioner which looks like now this is a small sort of one that I picked up in an ASOS order or through the magazine or that kind of thing uh, but I have used a, a whole big one of this as well but like I said it just leaves my hair feeling so soft really well nourished the idea is that it's a conditioner and sort of an oil treatment in one so you just put it through the ends of your hair leave it for sort of three four minutes I usually just wrap mine up in a towel quickly brush my teeth or something <laughs> and then go back and wash it out and it just leaves your hair so smooth smelling absolutely amazing I think it's pretty cheap as well but just a really really sort of good if you've got damaged hair absolutely fantastic product another thing that's very nourishing is the um, body cream that I've been using at the moment and it is the righteous butter by soap and glory I'm sure so many people have heard of this it's a massive kind of cult soap and glory product it smells of Mm, sort of a bit like a strawberry milkshake mixed with like flowers it's so nice and whenever I have it on my mum like can tell straight away that I'm wearing it because the scent really lingers on your skin I've used absolutely loads of it just got a tiny tiny bit left but I just it's helped my skin feel really nourished it's given it a nice kind of sheen it's left my um, elbows and knees which are usually really really dry looking really good and it's also kept my tan hanging around for a bit longer as well so I absolutely dig this plus you can get it in a massive massive pot like this has lasted me forever um, and then I've got a few cheap products and I've really sort of been going for just foundation concealer no powder and getting a real kind of sheen on the cheek. One product I've been using for that is Benefit Coralista and it looks something like this. It is just such a pretty coral shade. It has a slight kind of golden shimmer to it but it just leaves a really nice kind of pinky peachy sheen on the cheek. It's very natural and it's very sheer as well. You can really build up this colour but I just tend to dust it lightly over my cheeks with a MAC 188 brush and it kind of does the job of a blush and a highlighter in one. I keep it sort of to the backs of my cheeks and it just really sort of brightens up your look, adds a nice healthy glow but it's nothing too crazy. Another cheap product is something that I picked up ages and ages ago in a Bare Minerals sort of try me kit and it is the Bare Minerals Warmth and I've heard so much about this but I've just kind of pushed it to the side because it looks absolutely terrifying in the pot if I show you. Look at that, it is so dark and so brown, it just really really put me off. But I have to say that dusted just on the cheeks, it does exactly what it says on the tin and just adds a really nice warmth to your face. It's a bit like Benefit Dallas in the way that it's a bit of a blusher and bronzer kind of in one and just sort of lightly kind of contours your face so you don't really have to use anything else when you have this. It's really cool that I got it in like a try me kit because it's really really tiny so I just pop it in my bag, pop the little sort of brush that came in the set as well in there and then I just use whatever is in the lid on the brush, dust that over the cheeks and that's sort of my touching up done for the day. Um, so aside from cheap products I've really been getting back into eyeshadows and I couldn't pick just one out so I thought I would show you, this is my eyeshadow drawer, this is where they all kind of live and I thought I'd just pick out a few that I've been reaching for this month. At the moment I've got on NARS and the Paul eyeshadow which is that one there which is just a very pretty it's very much like MAC All That Glitters but has more of a pink sheen to it. I've also been loving the MUA what's it called Heaven and Earth palette and another one that I've been reaching for is NARS Ondine which looks like that and it's just the prettiest kind of brown with like a purple sort of undertone to it and it's a really quick easy smoky eye, I just pop this all over the lid, blend it out around the corner slightly with a 217 brush from MAC and that was kind of a really nice easy everyday sort of smoky eye to do so I couldn't pick one but there's just been quite a few and it's just something I've been really sort of getting back into which is quite exciting. I've also just recently got the new Sleek, what's it called, Au Natural palette which looks gorgeous so I can't wait to have a play around with that as well. 
Um, then I've got a nail polish and I actually haven't got it on my nails now but I have done a recent nail of the day post on my blog so I'll link that below and it is OPI's Sweetheart which looks like this. It's a very girly sort of pale milky pink colour and as I said in the post I've recently run out of my Essie Topless and Barefoot which I was using every week I was just constantly repainting my nails with that colour so I sort of had to look through my collection for something else and this is what I went for and now it does require a good sort of three coats but it is so worth it, it just leaves a really nice polished kind of look to your nails, very manicured clean sort of look and I have to say I haven't been loving the brights recently, I've really been going for boring neutrals but I'm loving it, it looks fantastic on the toes as well. Then the final favourite is a bit of a random one but it is my iPod and now that I am a bit of a commuter, I travel for four hours a day commuting to London and back, I don't know how you would do this without your iPod. Now I have to admit I haven't updated the music on here for about three years. So I'm listening to some pretty retro tunes at the moment but it does kind of get you through the journey and everyone else has like an iPad or a Kindle or a newer iPod. I mean this iPod is like 10 years old, it's like one of the oldest ones out there. I haven't seen anyone with an iPod this big for a long time, but it's just so good to have something to listen to, it makes the journey go so much quicker, absolutely love it, and I probably should get round to updating it. So that is it, very, very quick. I'm very excited because in the next few days I'm going on holiday to the south of Spain, which I cannot wait for, and hopefully I will film some kind of what's in my holiday makeup bag video or do a post on my blog or something. So I will pop that up soon and I hope everyone's had a lovely bank holiday weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.